Welcome to Eric's Life, where every day is a new chapter, and it's a new chapter with my mate for life, Colton Leon Stanford. We are living together here in South Bend, Indiana. We are now safely in our new home. We've actually been safely here for almost a month now, um, but we want to get our place ready before we introduce you to the new area and what it's all about. So today we are here at Castle Point, our apartment complex, and we'll give you a little uh, apartment tour off the cuff here and just kind of make it organic and have it flow and uh, it'll be all sweet and nice and uh, we're just going to get right into business then. Also I'm wearing my LaSalle Council polo shirt because it's been another long day of fulfilling work for the Boy Scouts of America and uh, I, uh, I'm really liking my new job. It's quite different and it's a, it's a new adventure every day and there's been a lot of new things I've had the opportunity to do. I'm sure there will be vlogs centered around that in the future, but for now, it's all about our new home. So, let's take a look. This is our apartment in Castle Point. Coronation Gardens, such a fancy name, and uh, they all have fancy names here. So, that's part of their shtick. Uh, it's been a nice apartment. We've had some troubles on and off, but Overall, I really like the look of what we've done with the place. And there he is, cooking his tail off. <laughs> we have actually been cooking some pretty good meals, haven't we? Yeah, they smell great. Yes, I'm not used to cooking my own meals at all, but now we're adulting. <laughs> Colton had an apartment for a few months before I lived on my own slash with him. So, I guess we can start in the kitchen. What better place to do that? Um, so one of the last things we actually got hung up was this map of the Hoenn region from the third generation of Pokemon. And it's pretty darn sweet. When did you get that? Uh, I got it online. I think it was QWERTY.com or however you say it. G -E -R -T. Got it. It is pretty sweet. And as you'll notice, we have an owl motif in our kitchen. We have an animal motif in our house in general. As you can see, we got little owls on our towels, more towels, but yeah, we got a potato, corn, and ham dinner cooking. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> um, but we got situated with all of our kitchen appliances, which took some, uh, some paychecks and other various monies to come in. We actually traded in all of our duplicate video games and uh, we got $535 worth of stuff that was just extra since we live together now. So that was pretty fantastic. Yeah. We have pretty much a full pantry and full cupboards at this point. So that's nice. That makes it feel like home. And we have all of our silverware and cups mingling together as one, as you do. And uh, most of the Civil Warrior is Colton's because he is a prepared boy. But yeah, that's basically the look of our kitchen. There's like a little kind of nook cafe bar area um, on the opposite side of it. So we've done decorated that slightly just so that it looks fairly presentable at this point. The inside of our freezer the two politically correct choices of ice cream black raspberry and strawberry and then the very politically correct Seagram's wine coolers which I've made you fall in love with yep you did I did and sweet tea good old southern sweet tea yeah Colton makes tea a lot uh, it's not my first uh, drink of preference but I don't dislike it anymore that's all due to him also, Colton has a really cool craft project where he took old books, tied them together with pine cones, and shoved the knives right in. It's beautiful. My mom made it for me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't remember if you made it or somebody else. But your mother did it. So the knives are forever protected in an educational way. And yes, we gotta wash them each time we want to use them. And there's the Stone Family Cookbook. So the stones are my grandma or grandmother on my father's side family. And they still hold reunions and whatnot and 
they came up with making an actual cookbook of all the family recipes. That is awesome. So that's something I got to inherit. Well, they mass produced them, but I inherited it. Heck yeah. And now we will cook out of it. Oh yeah. With our ever increasing cooking skill. I cannot wait, because there are some really good recipes in that. We have our closet full of uh, necessities and things. Uh, we've been using that fly swatter a lot because pests get in here. We've actually had crickets like two nights in a row get in our apartment, which is kind of weird, but you know, at least it's not uh, brown recluse spiders or anything. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a Zelda tapestry that I've had for years and I haven't hung up in the longest time, but it is truly awesome and it fits the hallway quite perfectly. So uh, Colton's not as big of a Zelda fan as I am, but he has allowed me to indulge. <laughs> but in doing so, we've indulged more in Pokemon than I ever have. Yeah. I had a bunch of Pokemon artwork left over. It is really nice. And your mom colored that. Yeah. She loves doing coloring books at night, so she colored that for me before I moved. I love it. I love it too. We have a very colorful apartment. This place was really not colorful when we moved in, but now it feels like home. Uh, we got the Anthrocom poster, some Steven Universe love. Uh, I think these I got from Fangamer a really long time ago, and I've never hung them up, but I always thought they were cool. Um, so they show like all of the bosses from various Zelda games, including Zelda 1, A Link to the Past, Link's Awakening, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, The Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, and Skyward Sword. And I thought the Breath of the Wild tapestry uh, worked well there as well. Uh, we have a closet back here, which uh, used to be just completely destroyed of stuff and actually looks somewhat presentable now. This is where we keep our laundry. We need to do more. <laughs> but uh, we've, we've done laundry for the important things like socks and underwear. And uh, we dazzled up our bathroom basically with the color blue of various shades. And that is your doing, isn't it, hon? Yep. But I'm a fan. Yeah, so the bathroom's not a whole lot to uh, speak about, but we're, we're warming up to the, to the better sites in yeah. just a second. So this is the spectacular site of our bedroom. Um, we have kind of an autumn theme going on here. There's actually no ceiling light, so pardon the slight dimness. Um, but this is kind of a three-piece um, board, canvas, tree, artwork thing that you have had for a while. Yeah, I've had it for a couple of years now. Yeah, I really like it. And then at Target we found these really cool, kind of autumn-inspired, uh, kanji Mario pixel art depictions. And we thought those were really cool, so we kind of made a square out of those. We have some of our uh, stuffed animals standing guard, including Meta Knight and Pikachu. And then uh, some of the artwork that you've probably seen uh, if you've been watching the vlog for a long time. Uh, the stuff I got from Film on Scout Ranch, including the Black Wolf of the Currenpaw. That's a Rocket Raccoon poster I got at uh, Chautauqua Comics back in the city I used to work in, Jamestown. And then we got some Mal Makes action going on here, including one of her first paintings that she did for her channel, uh, Journey. And then the the uh, sexaptic silhouettes of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. It is one of my favorite games ever made. And then the Tooth of Time artwork that you probably remember from college as well, if you've been watching for a few years at this point. Um, we have quite the collection of stuffed animals. Um, so Colton's is on the left and mine's on the right. Uh, mine only looks like there's more because there's like another bag of bed stuff propping it up. So I'm not I'm not as obsessed. We're e equally obsessed. And then uh, that's Sirius, Colton's persona, that we uh, stuff animal transformized into being. What are you laughing? At? Yeah. <laughs> Viewers, how many syllables can he describe everything with? <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's the goal, is as many as possible, so that I lose breath and die. 
But we have a couple safe for work body pillows. That's a Urian Ice one, and that's a Revali from Breath of the Wild that I got at Anthrocon, which is pretty sweet. And then uh, a picture of us from the Pittsburgh Zoo last year. And then uh, something I got at Anthrocon as well uh, from the artist Iphis was this uh, picture of Arcanine. It is awesome. We got this framed at Hobby Lobby, just like the Hoenn painting as well. And then we have our closet, which is quite full, which is also quite impressive, considering our laundry is also quite full. Yeah. We have a lot of shirts, don't we? Yes, we do. So I don't think we'll ever need to buy a shirt ever again. And we couldn't wear each other, so... That is true. <laughs> Perk to being uh, in a gay relationship with someone fairly much the same size as you is you can wear each other's clothes. Yeah. I mean, we've already done it a few times. We don't do it all the time, but it definitely works out. And now for the uh, the whole epicenter of our room here, including the living room and the dining room. So this table, first of all, hasn't been cleared off for basically three weeks until like just a couple days ago. So it looks pretty nice. That's your dining room table. Yep. And uh, that canvas is also kind of like the same one we have in our bedroom. It is beautiful. Uh, my friend Marissa, uh, one of my best friends in college, actually got me this Wind Waker tapestry. So I've never hung it up, but now I have. Uh, my friend Gabe, who uh, drew my persona, gave me this Wolf Rain tapestry. And then we have our little shrine in the corner here. I bet you can't guess who's a wolf and a lion. <laughs> and uh, one of our pictures from our trip in April. It's in the Oklahoma mountains. Wilderness Refuge. Yeah, that looks really nice. It does. I love our apartment. Yeah, the lighting in the kitchen is very good. It's like the lighting everywhere else we had to create for ourselves. <laughs> like, for instance, this li this living room doesn't have a ceiling light, so we had to buy lights. Or you had a, one of those lights on the left there. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, we had to do that ourselves. <laughs> no one told us, but, you know, things happen. Um, so, when you enter... We have our printer. Ryan got us a printer, which is very nice of him. We have a stereo system and uh, various other things. Key dish is a giant leaf, because why not? Uh, Rivali is also the character of the month for the calendar, so that's great. And one of my favorite things of Colton's is this Kiki's delivery service little mirror. That you can check your hair in before you set out to go for the day. And I hung up Roger as well. All right, one of my favorite sections of our entire place is the Amiibo collection. We have just about every Amiibo there is. And I organized them fairly methodically for several hours. <laughs> but it was worth it. It was worth it. Uh, so we kind of have a, uh, a trifecta of female empowerment going down the middle here. Zelda, Peach, and Samus. So we have all of the Breath of the Wild Amiibo up top here, including uh, Wolf Link and Midna from Twilight Princess. Going down to Mario Odyssey Amiibo and the uh, Divas from Splatoon and Splatoon 2. And then all of the uh, other miscellaneous uh, series Amiibo that there aren't a whole lot of, but they would fit nicely on the shelf, including uh, the Metroid series, the Kirby series, the Fire Emblem series, and uh, the Pikmin and Chibi Robo Amiibos. And then uh, we have a couple miscellaneous ones down here, uh, including the 8-bit Amiibo. A line of links ordered by series appearance and an order of inkling ordered by series appearance and then we have the Super Smash Brothers ultimate newcomers up top oh and the Octoling Amiibos and Shovel Knight and then we have uh, my uh, patches from section 84 a conclave this year which was also its own vlog uh, these are the patches Ryan designed for the event uh, since he was Lodge Chief and working on that conclave the past couple of years. It was our idea to have a, a Way of the Wild theme, and, and the patches for the six lodges are Hylian Shields, and it looks awesome framed up. So I'm glad I did that. Moving down to the rest of the amiibo, you can kind of see that I've ordered the Super Mario series and the Animal Crossing series. I've put the characters that I like the most up front because I am... 
pleasuring myself with this Amiibo collection. <laughs> and uh, then I just went all OCD and put in each cubby like the order of the characters. So like cubby one is Smash 64, cubby two is Smash Melee, cubby three is Brawl, cubby four is Smash for 3DS and Wii U, and then down here we have the Smash 4 DLC Amiibo and the Echo Fighter so far. Obviously this collection has a little more growing to do um, through the beginning of uh, 2020. And then it will be uh, fairly complete. And then if they make more Amiibo, uh, we'll just have to kill ourselves. <laughs> Colton, do you promise to do or do not? I just promise to stay salty. <laughs> oh, very true. And uh, we wanted the stay salty thing kind of near our gaming area because uh, that is just too fitting. Um, so what we have going on here in the gaming area is both of our switches are here. That's the only console we have two of because why not? Um, so we have one dock set up, uh, the PS4, the PS3 in the bottom middle there, and then we have the Wii U hooked up on the bottom right. We have the Wii, which plays Wii and GameCube. We have the N64 in the middle, and the uh, Retro Duo on the bottom right on top of the Wii U plays SNES and NES cartridges. And then on top of that, we also have the NES and SNES classics, including Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, DS, 3DS, we basically have every Nintendo console. So, yeah, we're not nerds or anything. And that box of my uh, classic games have pretty much uh, come here untouched. So, we just plop those down there. And uh, as you might notice, uh, the middle glass shelf for this was actually broken. So, what we did was put uh, one of the shelves from another shelf that broke. And we combined them. <laughs> so that we can actually put things on this middle area. So, not to brag, but we uh, we exercised a little ingenuity there. We got the holy trifecta of N64 goodness in the front. There is no, there is no debating that. Um, and then back here, we have a whole bunch of posters. So, we have the Thank You Mr. Awada poster from the Nintendo Force magazine uh, that the Smashified crew did. Uh, that's always been one of my favorite posters. I had it behind my TV in my room, and now it is here, uh, surrounded by Awada's legacy, a plethora of Switch games. So we thought that was pretty fitting. Um, the Symphony of the Goddesses, when my folks and I went in December 2017, that was a poster uh, for that year's symphony. I love your rabbit clock. It is very legit. Zelda 25th anniversary, and uh, we have racks for movies and albums and uh, we've been filling that up but if we were to fill it up with new movies then we would most assuredly be completely broke we're already close enough but we have a whole filled up shelf guarded by bb8 already so not bad and then colton is modeling for me we have his couch which i think is very comfortable it is and then the coffee table, so do you want to explain to the people the significance of it? Yes, so my grandfather was a carpenter and he built houses and furniture and this coffee table he built himself. Um, it's beautiful. It is very beautiful. I love this coffee table. I was glad, and he still loved it, but he let me take it with me when I moved down here and one of these days I'll get it finished because the top part is actually made to where you can have glass on it. Yeah. But he was never able to finish it and then... But honestly that works kind of well too because our cup holders, various, we have Charmander, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, whoop, and Pikachu. So they actually kind of fit in like the grooves of the table. Uh, I have a couple cup holders as well. Um, but yeah, a perfect place for all of our controllers and our eating. And then I've been playing Samus Returns lately, but we are we are really representing Nintendo Pride in this apartment, which I wouldn't have it any other way. That's the only reason I date you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here for the Amiibo collection now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's uh, he's going to plan to kill me like once the Smash Brothers series is finished. Oh dear lord, <laughs> it won't ever be finished. Well, the Smash series will be soon. And well, we'll and then another Smash game will come <laughs> yeah. out eventually. So yeah, no, it probably never will be. <laughs> and then uh, here we have our family shrine. So it's not all nerd stuff, I promise. Um, so live, laugh, love, bitch. And then 
and we uh, we organize like our family and friends uh, evenly throughout this and pictures of us. So I really like what we did with this. It is pretty awesome. The light doesn't want me to show the people, <laughs> but I will try my best. And then one of our best friends, uh, Joaquin from Argentina, his name is Gato on Twitter, give him a follow. Uh, he did this amazing art of our characters, Lee and Sirius. Um, so we figured we would print that out and hang it up here as well. It's awesome. It is incredible. Love you, Gato. Love you, Gato. And then we have knickknack shelves, which uh, Colton pretty much completely let me monopolize. <laughs> I have a lot of various knickknacks. So I actually did try to do a theme here. Uh, Liv, I tried to make it mostly scouting stuff. So my Eagle Scout and High Adventure uh, patches and belt buckles and golf balls and my Founders Award are up in the Liv section. The last section uh, is headlined by a National Comedy Center wristband. And uh, a wooden rose, uh, or is that a rose? That's not a rose, that's a tulip. I'm stupid. That I got from a Youth Connection performance back in the day. Uh, so anything like entertainment related is kind of on the laugh area. The Link's Awakening keychain from E3. Uh, your Texas keychain you gave me because you make me laugh, believe it or not. <laughs> and, uh, and various other doohickeys. And then in the love section, I kind of wanted to make it like a cultural section. So we have one of those uh, eggs you decorate. I don't know what country first did that, but it's from high school art. Don't at me. <laughs> I have my rocks from Mount Baldy and the Tooth of Time. And then some Native American stuff, some uh, Japanese ninja star origami that uh, actually someone sent my dad when he was doing uh, some sort of amiibo trading stuff. And then a uh, reunion tower penny, uh, the knot from Dan Wobel, my class ring, and various other things. My white wolf from our OA lodge, and a uh, seven-year camper award. That's like a real bear claw. That's what that is, in case you were wondering. But now I'm just talking too much. <laughs> and then we have a suite of other posters, including a Twilight Princess HD poster that I totally forgot I owned. Um, but it is all twilight, so it makes sense right behind the light. And uh, we have a nice chair matching the couch here. Um, we scratched the floor a little bit. Don't look at that. <laughs> I love that blanket with all the evolutions on it. Yeah. But it's folded for now, but it's sweet. It is. It's a nice blanket. And then we do have a patio, so you can go outside. All the bugs like to come inside, but you know. Oh well. <laughs> and then we finally got this desk cleared off as well, which wasn't for the longest time, um, but you've been using it to draw. I will use it to write soon. Yeah. I promise. Hopefully. <laughs> and then uh, the artwork uh, Alabaster Fox, my friend Gabe from California, has done for my characters. Uh, we framed and put up here. Uh, so that's Lee. Uh, that's my profile art, hand drawn um, before it was colored digitally. So that's why it's all black and white and goodness. And then uh, these are my uh, four main characters for my second novel. Um, and uh, their names are Laura, Melly, Brassic, and Brutus. And they're pretty awesome. And this art piece has turned out fantastic. Um, so it'll uh, serve as a source of inspiration as I try to write and make myself write more and do it. And uh, Colton, some of your drawings are up there in the corner there. Yeah, I don't look at they're super cute. He's an artist. Damn straight. Uh, that's the cover art done by Ruckus of Tie Game, which is the spin-off novel of the Out of Position series. Furry books, if uh, for those of you who are uninitiated. And then we got some other stuff rockin'. Zealberry Chronicles X, Star Fox Zero, uh, the Sonic the Hedgehog poster that we found at our local used game store, which we both love, so we bought it. Shop at Disc Replay. Yeah, Disc Replay. They got you a hacked copy of Pokemon Fire Red. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you, you've been using that to, to, well, farm like one Clefairy, which I guess isn't farming. Yeah. Well, because you can only get um, soft bold on it once in the game. Rest in peace. Save file, so. That's unfortunate. And then we have a whole shelf of knickknacks over here. Also, over here, 
books and things, but mostly over here. Those are Colton's uh, chess piece bookmarks, and we have various keychains adorned on our Harry Potter wands because uh, we are big fans. Yeah, the Space Needle sculpture, the Fox McCloud statue that was in my room, uh, Detective Pikachu, the only statue amiibo to not fit over with the rest of the amiibo. And uh, and then uh, we've already made it through two seasons of Avatar The Last Airbender, because we're re-watching that, and I'm going to uh, make Colton be super hyped for The Legend of Korra, <laughs> which he is. And, uh, yeah, we got all of our games and stuff down here. Our uh, PS3 and PS4 collections are still on disc, but everything else is in uh, these little cases. Only GameCube discs are that small, but you get my picture. And, uh, yeah, we have uh, more books and uh, a little Zelda shrine cubby, which is fantastic. And then uh, Toothless also serves as a piggy bank, so that's also fantastic. Also, one of our projects this past weekend was decorating the shelf with Nintendo stickers because it was just too white for such a colorful cupboard on the inside, so we wanted to make it like that on the outside. Oh yeah, there is one more thing. There's one more thing! <laughs> <laughs> so, we decorated uh, like the inside of this coffee table. That's another really cool thing, is that it is perfect for putting a lot of books inside. So we did that. We have a lot of the uh, the Zelda special edition uh, like encyclopedia books, uh, collector's edition guides, um, the Avatar graphic novels, various other coffee table books for nerds. So yeah, I feel like we have pretty awesomely put this place together. We have. It is so legit and thank you for sharing it with me. My pleasure. Do you love the audience? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love you, which means I also love the audience. <laughs> now we have sat down for a nice ham dinner, and Colton will lead us in prayer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll go first. As we prepare to eat this meal, I am thankful for Colton and the love he has given me and for him being the one true reason why I've ventured across the country and him even farther to enjoy this life together. All right, now you have to top that. <laughs> I am thankful for getting to be here right now with Eric for all the wonderful times we've spent together so far. For getting to see him every day, getting to laugh, cry, play games, and all around just goof off every day. <laughs> also, I want someone to write that on like a, a wedding card or something, to laugh, cry, and play games. <laughs> <laughs> That's our generation's trifecta of love. <laughs> I am thankful for this new job in which I don't have to make minimum, minimum wage, but I can still focus on making relationships and helping one of the greatest nonprofits in the world as the Scouts. What are you thankful for? That we're about to eat. <laughs> oh, damn! <laughs> Good old South Bend Eats. You can, you can start a restaurant. That could be your job. I doubt it. I could buy a recipe and nothing more. But you could make your own recipe with your own pizzazz. Mm. <laughs> your pizzazz is love. And no one has the same ingredient of love as you do. <laughs> Alright, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I don't know, either. let's eat. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next video. It'll be a little more outdoorsy and a little more adventurous, but we always have here to come back home to. All right, see you in the next one.